Welcome to this week's episode of Now Loading. I'm Death Vanquished. I'm Biomonkey. And after being run over and beaten several times, we are going antless on this episode. That, and he may have tossed his Xbox in the trash after the Xbox One briefing. You know, the reaction to the Xbox One reminds me of something. <laughs> Microsoft has turned its back on the fan base. They have squandered Peter Moore's original vision and ruined it with his spin-off console. It's like Xbox has gone back to high school in an alternative dimension. That was, uh, oddly specific. I guess I was wrong. This misinformed fanbase freakout doesn't mirror any other misinformed fanbase freakouts. Xbox One. Oh, that's what it's called? This will be the one-stop spot for all your entertainment needs. Heard that one before. In 2013, more people are cutting the cord with the cable companies than ever before. The internet provides a cheap access to apps that will provide more content than you will ever know what to do with. Hey, he's right. So Microsoft got all the 40-somethings that grew up with TV and are unable to change to the a la carte environment, and we developed the Xbox One from the ground up with one thing in mind, getting people to reconnect the core to the poor little cable companies. Wait, 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 what? Welcome to the future of living room entertainment, a television. Okay, thank you for showing us the future of the last century. TV is the future of gaming. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Dear Twilight Sparkle, my most faithful student. Oh, <laughs> wrong ink. <gasps> <laughs> So uh, I just finished watching Griffin the Brush Off episode. Uh, wh wh what? Look, what I was watching isn't important. Uh, hell yes, it is. Calm down, Death. No, 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 I can't calm down. There are protocols. I have to welcome you to the herd. Stop it. I'm still evaluating the show. It is good, but that's not why I came to talk to you. It's just I'm so happy that my best friend is starting to enjoy the show that I just got into. It's like psych all over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I was watching the episode, and when I finished it, the Xbox One gave me an achievement. Wait, you got an achievement for watching TV? <sighs> yeah. Um, what was the name of this achievement? I'd rather not say. It was pretty harsh. Somebody at Microsoft really hates the show. Oh. I hope that a child never gets that achievement. They'd be scarred for life. The Xbox is finished. How is TV the future? I thought Nintendo fucked up. Well, I'm jumping over to the PS4. Don Matrick and Major Nelson should be strung up by their thumbs. That's it. I've got nothing to live for anymore. Is that a bomb strapped to your chest? <laughs> Major Nelson. What's going on, Don? How's the response to the Xbox One reveal? Well, let me check Twitter. Ooh, wow, uh, holy shit. Is this response good? I would say mixed. Seems like there's a lot of misinformation out there. How could there be any misinformation? We spent an hour talking about sports and TV. It seems like everybody thinks that's all there is to the Xbox One. Some people are even wondering if it's a game console at all. Well, it is clearly not a game console. It is a multimedia machine. Yeah, I think the internet got that point loud and clear. It still plays video games. A lot of people out there are wondering how it handles used games and rentals. It seems like a lot of people are concerned over how they can let a friend borrow a game if it always self-installs. Uh, we do know how the Xbox One handles secondhand games, right? 
We are uh, still working that out. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? These are the types of decisions that are made during the conceptualization phase of development. Well, we really wanted to satisfy the publishers and the retailers to find a nice middle ground for them. Is there a middle ground for the consumers? Fuck the consumers of the secondhand products. Should I put that in the press release? Hmm. Don. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I am Patch Jarvis, analyst of all things gaming. Ask me your questions. Ah. Yes, I was wondering if the PS4 will allow used games. Hmm, good question. The ancients have revealed to me that yes, the PS4 will allow used games, but they will not prevent publishers from requiring always online connections. Ah. Wait, what does that mean? Only one question per subject. <sighs> Will the Xbox One have a good show at E3? Hell no. They could show a Half-Life 3 live demo played on stage and people would call it an abortion. <sighs> Hating Microsoft is popular right now. <sighs> oh, okay. No, 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 not you again. Look, I don't want any trouble. Then don't insult my art. Art? You're just an analyst. That's it. Get out of here. Oh, I don't get to hear the rumblings of an unknown madman. I will fucking destroy you. So, Bio, what's your real opinion on the Xbox One? I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the name. But other than that, everything is just wait and see. Even if Microsoft gave birth to the second coming of Christ, I was still going to wait until Halo 5 to pick up the next Xbox. Oh. Man, you're being prudent. That's no fun. What is your opinion? I don't know. You know, I guess I'm scared. Because I have no real idea of what to think of this. There is just so much misinformation out there. Either way, none of it seems particularly good. Everything seems to be bad or okay. Nothing great about the Xbox One so far. So, Wii U, PS4, or wait until 2014? Um, 2014. Screw your prudence! I'm driving this fucker into the sun! Emergency jump complete, Captain. <laughs>